students coming to the next topic in the subject uh, computer programming is creating and running a program so this is one of the important topic if you want to write any program you have to follow these uh, steps how to create the program and how to run the program so let us see this uh, the first a program consists of if you take any program a program consists of set of instructions written in programming language programming language so any program consists of set of instructions so those instructions will be written in any programming language the job of programmer here the main job of programmer programmer is nothing but the person who writing the program the job of programmer is to write and test the program so the programmer has to write the program first he has to write the program after that he has to test the program so how he, he will write the program and how he will test the program so for that there are four steps for converting a C program into machine level language. Means the system can understand only the machine level language. But the programmer, the user will write the program in English like alphabets. He cannot understand the machine language. So we have to convert whatever the English type language we have written, English like state sentence that has to be converted into machine language so that the system, the CPU means the computer in the computer you are having the processing device that processor can read whatever the instructions given by the user and it gives the result in the machine language again that machine language will be converted into high level language where the programmer can easily understand the user can easily understand so let us see there are four steps four steps for converting a C program into machine level language so we have to create a program the creating a program will be done in programming language that is a C program that cre after creating the program we have to run the program if you want to run the program that should be converted into machine level language so to convert for creating and for running the program it requires four steps the four steps has to be included while you are creating the program and running the program what are the four steps the first one is writing and editing the program so this will be done on the text editor first you have to write the program and you have to edit the program means the creating the program after that you have to compile the program that is running the program means converting the programming language into machine language compile the program After that, linking the program with some library functions. Linking the program and finally executing the program. These are the four steps that are involved for creating and running the program. First, you have to write and edit the program that will be done on text editor so this is completely in programming language this programming language will be compiled so for compilation it converts to the machine language so after machine language means the complete program will be converted to machine language now linking the program linking the program means it adds some library functions also it includes the library functions to execute so this machine level program plus library functions will uh, indicates the complete program the complete program in machine language so after that it is ready for execution 
okay this is ready for executing the program so writing and editing the program in the programming language english like sentence after writing writing the program you have to compile the program after compiling it links the program after linking it executes the program so that is the output of the program so let us see the first one is how to write and edit the program let me discuss one by one let me check so what are the steps that are involved for writing the program the first one writing and editing the program so in this video i'll explain first how to write and how to edit the program so the first step is for uh, that you have to use the text editors for writing the program text editors are used to write program okay i opened one text editor and there i have written the program after that users can enter change store characters character type data using text editor so in this text editor you can enter or you can edit or you can uh, store whatever the language means the character type of data using the text editor in in text editor you also the special text editor is often included with a compiler so if you if you are having a special text editor that is often included with a compiler it means no need to install again the compiler uh, by default the text editor will be included with uh, these files the compiler file after writing the program in the text editor after writing the program the file is saved to disk you have to save it to the disk then only you can able to compile the program after writing the program you have to save that file onto the disk save to the disk it is known as we call it as it is known as source file the file whatever the input file you call it as a source file this file is input to the compiler this source file is input to the compiler i hope you understand how you will write the program and how you will save the program means to where you have to save the program why we are saving the program because the compiler is the uh, for after writing the program you have to compile after compiling you have to be executed so before compiling you have to write a program then that program will be input to the compiler so here the programmer is there and the programmer so the programmer can enter the program in text editor so i have written the program in text editor after that that program will be saved in a source saved as a source file so whatever the program that i have entered hash include stdio.h this is the library function and here i am writing the main program okay so this file will be saved as a source call it as a source file this source file will be saved onto disk then it becomes the input to the compiler so first here i explain about writing and editing the program so in the next video i'll explain how to compile the program thank you